What's going on, everybody? Come back. I'm going to show you what all is in this kit that's now on the workbench. What's going on, everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing? Hope this video finds you well. I told you this thing is full of gear, and I wasn't kidding. We're going to take a look at everything. We'll kind of reassemble it, and we'll talk a little more about their their uh, packs that they have. Now, I'm not talking about the med kits. I'm talking about the packs they have. So, we're going to start out with everything you would find in this little pocket here. So, in the little pocket, you would have, first off, whoops, sorry about that. First off, you will have... Two pair of rubber gloves. Everybody needs rubber gloves. If you're treating anybody that's bleeding or anything oozing, you will need rubber gloves. Then the next pack that they have in there, in that same little pocket, you will find your medications. You've got everything from diarrhea uh, to um, allergy to pain reliever of some sort. They have different varieties of that. The next one I would call your, I don't know, more of like your uh, cleaning products for wounds. First you have hand sanitizer, sanitize your own hands. You have the BZK antiseptic wipe, wipes. You have uh, alcohol prep pads and then you also have sting relief which is pretty cool so that's another pack remember this we're just talking about this first pouch here then the next thing you have is the secure strips adhesive wound closures um, that's what they look like but these uh, are to close up a wound if you need to um, then the next pack you have is going to be your ointments and that's these let me get all these you got a triple antibiotic ointment you got uh, hydrocortisone oral pain relief lip balm and sunscreen whoops and sunscreen so that's all that's in this particular first pouch here so we're going to stop right here i'm going to get that off the workbench and we'll go to the next thing Okay, so I got everything back in that pouch. Yep, I got everything back in that pouch like it's supposed to be. So if you have a map that needs to be folded, go ahead and send it to me. So now we're going to go through this center pouch here, this center pouch right in here, about what all's in it. And you're going to be pretty impressed with what all they have in that. This is just a normal compression bandage. Then they have normal surgical tape or white tape. <laughs> This is where I was kind of blown away at some of the things in this. A thermometer. Not only do you get the thermometer, you get the little sleeves to go on the thermometer so you can throw them away once you've used it. Then you get a flashlight, a little um, pin light, and it's ready to go. They have a, on this pin light, they have a pupil gauge. Now, I don't know enough about the pupils to know what the, you know, the different sizes of the pupils mean. I'm not that far into it yet. Um, the other thing I give them credit for is they have needle tweezers. You know as well as I do, the broad tweezers trying to get a splinter out just don't work like these do. The next one, you have an emergency pressure bandage. I would think... Now, from opening it up, um, I want to say it's kind of like an Israeli bandage, maybe. Um, but it doesn't have the, the locking system like an Israeli bandage does. Then you have your typical triangle bandage. You know what all you can do with them. Um, then you have a CPR mask, which is pretty cool. White petroleum. Uh, in case you have to put some, you know, white petroleum. 
Here's something I thought was really cool. This is sodium chloride. Basically, this is wound wash. So if you have a wound you need to wash out real quick, you have something to do that with. So that's your middle section. I will get it all crammed back in that thing and uh, we'll go with the top. Okay, so I got all that back in the center section. So that gives us the last thing we got to do is this section. And I'll show you what all's in it. Now, first off, you have your burn shield. Uh, this is a cream you put over a burn to help try to keep it uh, clean. Um, keep anything from getting in there that might cause a infection. Space blanket. We've been in those cases where we had to use these things and we know what, you know, they're good for temporary, but that's it. Um, there's a whistle for help. Remember, we've always talked about it in the, on this channel before. I have a couple different things, especially on my day pack. I have that, aside, that alarm that I can set off that's like 105 dB. And you've got these loud whistles. This is going to be heard, and that siren's go, that alarm's going to be heard way before your voice is ever heard. And you can only yell for so long before you start running out of energy and able to yell. So you've got that. Then you have a splint. This is a mimetic splint for broken fingers. You know how that works, wraps or goes around it. You've got the, cert, the medical tape, wrap on it to secure that. Then you got medical shears. And these are really nice ones. I've got a set kind of like these, um, but these feel pretty solid. I got a feeling they would, you know, cut anything you need to cut with them. So that's those parts. Now, there's another kit in this one that's in this bag. We're going to go through what all's in it. First off, they have liquid skin in there. If anybody's used that, I've never used it before, but everything I've read on it's pretty darn cool. They have their Mimetic Super Skin. This is for blisters and stuff. Um, I'm fixing to actually order some of this to have in a couple different things. We've got a kit, another kit to talk about in the next video um, has this in it too. Then you have different styles of gauze. You have this one, I think is, what is this, 2x2? Two two. Yeah, 2x2. Two two. And then you have 4x4s. Four four okay. With the 4x4s four four and stuff, you also have the um, stretch gauze bandage that you can wrap around them. All right. Now, you also get two of the bandage packs that comes with them. Now, these have everything from uh, sorted bandages to treat cuts on fingers, elbows, and knees. So you get two of those, and those are fully loaded with their bandages. And like that hiker kit I showed you, you open this, use what you got to, and zip lock it back. So I'm going to put this back in there and then we're going to go over some of the other kits they offer. And once again, I'll leave the link and everything down below. Remember, mid 10, 20 and get 20% off of your order. Okay, so now we're going to go through their other med kits they have right now. Or their first aid kits. This is, of course, this right here is my, my fac first aid kit. They have uh, the recon, which you can see real quick, all the stuff that's in that, kind of. They have a MyFac Large. They have a, the Medic, the Solo, uh, 10 Essentials, which is kind of sold out right now. The Auto Medic, Stormproof. When it says Stormproof, it's in a Stormproof box, okay? Then they have Stormproof Universal First Aid Kit, Stormproof Moto, which I would assume for motorcycles. Then they have the Boat Medic, which is an actually a waterproof uh, kit. Then you get down here, they have the Range Medic, which I kind of like the idea for that. If you go to the gun range quite a bit, we know we I do. Um, so that may be something I'm looking at getting to put with my range bag. Uh, you got an everyday carry, then you have a stitch and suture, which you probably don't want to be near needles and sewing you up anywhere. Then they have, for you guys that may work in construction, like my company has, 
we have the construction medic which would have stuff for you know construction type accidents okay there's another thing I wanted to mention if you mount this somewhere like on Molly you can detach this and leave this the base part behind uh, that's the way it will be mounted in my truck when I put it in my truck okay so the next thing I was going to tell you about if you get the advanced bag you also get a free life-saving training with purchase of advanced kit uh, right now this sale ends 430 um, hopefully you'll get in on this before the sale ends um, but I thought that was pretty cool on their kits uh, if you got the advanced let's take a look at the solo real quick I think that would be a really cool one to have too on you um, for your everyday they also have an everyday carry so let's see what the solo solo's got all kinds of bandages there's rope there's a uh, whistle there's the um, solution to wash out wounds uh, you got the scissors so it's a pretty good little kit to be only 50 bucks so that may be something you guys look at like I said I'll leave the link down below it's www.mymedic.com use mid 10 outdoors um, 20 or just mid 10 20 to get 20% off of your order and that's your total order that's not just you know that one little part that's anything you order from them um, we're going to look at the stuff real quick there's your supplies so if you need to restock anything or you want to buy bits and pieces you can do that from here essentials they have books they have kit finder books uh, gift cards new product more uh, tells about them that's their story that's what I read to you in the first video uh, then there's our team blog locations call us subscribe um, and you can also build your build your your own um, page with them and you know order as you need I'm going to I've already got one set up I'm going to do different things in it but that's it for the first aid kits now the next video we're going to go over the med packs which is what this is the hiker medic is a med pack and we will go over the med packs in that video but for now Remember guys, as I always say, and this is part of being prepared, but be prepared.